In this video, I'm going to explain how we can extract the min and max value from each of the consecutive list using dynamic let array formula. So before going to make this full let formula, I will just explain a little bit about the step we need so that you can understood the logic. The first step in making this formula is to develop a formula which generate a full list including missing value. So using sequence main and max function we generate this list. The sequence condition first need how many rows you want. So if you see the max value is 37 and the main value is 5. If we subtract the max from the main we get the number of rows. But actually we need to add 1 to get the full number of rows. If we just remove this 1 we get from 5 to 36. If we just add 1 we will get a full list. And the starting value in this case is the main value of this list which is 5 and the step is 1. Using xlookup function we are just lookup this value on original list to see which value are missing and which value are present. And instead of missing value we are just using a comma as a missing value. Using text join function we are uh, combining this whole text using text join but we use pipe as a delimiter and this full range we assign to text join. We are splitting this whole text using comma not by pipe symbol. So you can see we get this list, we can get this list, we can get this list. One condition to be note we are using to column function because split function which gave us the data in row wise and we need in one column so we use two column function just to get all of the data in one column. The next condition is to filter these unwanted rows using filter function which is super simple. The final condition is to split this text. So we just going to split this text and this is the final result which again using the main function and the mix function just to get these value from each of the list and combining them. So this is the step by step detail. Now we will uh, build this full dynamic let formula step by step. Now let's start uh, building this let formula. The first thing is we need to define the name and then we need to assign the range. So let the name in this case is let's just give a name data and the range is from A to to A which is the full column of range. So this is the first step. I think better is to uh, press control enter for a line space because this will make it look easier for reading later. The second parameter is the main but you don't need to use main as a name. You will just add an, another character. I will just add L. And the main is using main function, but instead of A to to A, I will define a data because the data is already A to to A. Max. Now we uh, will make a sequence step which I show you. So let us define its uh, full step R. Full list. I will just um, give it full list name, and the full list name is start from the sequence. How many rows you need? So again, we will define this using max max l minus min l plus one. How many columns? Starting value is min l, and the step is. We need to press a uh, comma and then press enter for the to make a next step let's just define full l and close the bracket so that we can see what is going on so this is uh, for the current let formula this is how we getting the result now we define the xlookup step 
so let's just give a name xlp which is the name you can assign any of the name x lookup function and x lookup basically define as the full list so the full list is this list so we will define the full list with what is the lookup range so original range we want to look up and the lookup range is in this case the data the result rate is also the data and the missing value is the comma if i just close the bracket comma and press enter now xlp i want to check the result and this is the best way to check step by step result so we get only five since this is array uh, formula so we need to um, write array before the let in google sheet we must need to write array before the list and now if i just press enter this give us the new list including the missing value is display as a comma as i show you on a first tick the next thing is the text join function so what we need to do we just need to make sure the text join so we will name it text t1g you cannot uh, name like this one because tj1 is somewhere the reference on the sheet so this will not work so just make it something different t1g hmm. text join and what is the delimiter the delimiter we want this pipe symbol ignore empty yes and what are the texts so the texts are in this case is the xlp the x lookup result okay and press enter now we want to uh, split this result for example if i just show you this result what is so this is how we getting the result now we want to split this result so let's just apply the split function and we want to split by comma so let's just name it t1j something like split and we just use split function first to split the t1j and the delimiter is the comma if i just uh, press comma and control enter let me just t i j so see this is uh, how we are getting the result but we want this result in a column wise we don't want this in a row wise so if i just apply the two column function here so now you can see we getting this result now we will uh, filter this result okay so we will just extract out these row and these other rows so now we will define another list which is filter list and this list will filter the data which data you want d i j is and when this data is not equal to five so press comma control if just want to show you the result so now we are getting the clean result okay this is step by step detail of this whole list function the the next step is to split again this list so fl split let's just give us this name and split what is the text fl is our text what is the delimiter? Our delimiter is this one. Let's just close the function to see what is the result, how it's looking. It's always the best practice to see the result. So these are the results. Now, you know, we have by row function, which we use by row to row by row operation to get the min and the max value, the min and the max value, because we want the array function and for the array function, uh, there is a new function which is called by row function so what we need to do we just need to define the by row so let's just name it br something like by row and the step name is the fl split data and the by row sorry we need to define by row 
the biro want the data so fn split is our data we want to apply the operation row by row on this data and let's just define lambda so the variable name let's just put x in the formula you want to apply again the text join the delimiter let's just want the dash is a delimiter true Mm. max of x now this is important we will use max of uh, x instead of max of l because this is the whole this is the new list max of x means 7 uh, 5 to 7 this is the max value of this list so max sorry first we need to define the min of x min of x and then define max of x Close the bracket, close the bracket, close the bracket for biro and press comma and just create and create and biro is the result. I think this step don't need even we just close this bracket and press the comma. So we are getting okay. Okay, so we need to define another step which is actually PR and we will define this. So now you can see we get our result using a dynamic sequence and let function. So whenever I give you this function, what you need, you just need to copy this function. And for example, you have a new sheet, you can just paste it this function. And this is the only range you need to change. For example, I'm just going to copy this data. To somewhere else so what you need to do you just need to update the range and in this case our range is from e2 to e and if i just press enter it will automatically work now if i insert a new one condition 550 50, 52 53 it will automatically give me another pair of uh, min m and max I hope you like this video, please subscribe my channel, like it and support it for more video. Thank you so much.